Hello! In the previous video, you learned how to pick an idea for your startup. Today, you will learn how to build it. This video will not be about specific code frameworks or no-code tools. I will tell about the fundamental things of building products. Even though I am talking about building SaaS, these tips about making and managing and planning your future tool are also applicable to any business, even offline. So let's start. The product is foundation of your project. If your product is weak or solves an existing problem, it will take you so much energy to promote, pay a lot of attention to what you do. This is why I insist on spending an extra hour on planning a feature. Your current goal is to validate your idea as soon as possible. And uh, as I said in the previous video, the absolute way to validate an idea is to get money for it, to earn some real cash from your future clients. If you will find people who are ready to pay for your SaaS or a mobile application, it means it will be on demand. If you hear, yes, I will buy it, or yes, this product will be totally popular, this means nothing, only real sales from strangers. So you want to find out if your product will be in demand. To find it out, you need to build an initial version of your product, so-called MVP. MVP should reproduce the core business process of your future product. Let me demonstrate you a couple of examples of successful MVPs, so you can understand this concept deeper. The first example is Airbnb. The founders ask themselves, will people be ready to sleep in strangers' apartments? Brian Chesky and Joe Gebbia just shoot their apartments and posted the photographs on local classifieds. We found people who were ready to pay for sleep in their apartments. This is how we confirmed the idea. Notice that we didn't need to build an entire product. There was no product. We created just single ad to find out if this idea is viable. And yes, we got real money from strangers to validate this idea. Another example, a unicorn platform. That's my tool. The most important feature in my website builder is good design. So I spent 160 hours to build MVP. I used all my design talents to build a beautiful landing page builder. But that wasn't a complete website builder. There was no hosting, no online content editing tool, just HTML generator. It was a working tool which could produce HTML pages, but it was far less powerful than what Unicorn platform today is. People liked the style and the level of design. That's why they started to pay me. This is how I understood. People really like websites which are stylish and well-designed. So I spent an extra year to build a more powerful website builder. But again, I started with something small, which I could produce within only two months. So if your product is complex, is so hard to build, such as website builder, you can find a way to validate your idea. Just think about it. Another good example is Buffer. Buffer is social media scheduling tool. So we built a landing page with a button buy it now. And when people clicked buy it, we were allowed to join the waitlist. You can improve the Buffer's approach and offer people to buy your product before it's made. Of course, you don't need to trick your people. Never do this. Just tell them that your product is not ready, but here is my idea, and if you want to pay less but be an early adopter, please pay now only, for example, a half of the cost. If people will start buying your future tool, it means they really need it, and the problem which you have chosen is really, really important for them. Another good example of MVP is Dropbox. The founder didn't create a huge architecture, applications for every mobile device, he just created a video which demonstrated the concept. People saw this video and they were just amazed by this idea. Store their files and photos in a cloud. So he got 75,000 signups just by publishing a video. So think about what your idea is, what's your core business process and try to implement it in an MVP. If you cannot create a product, you can just skip this and uh, let your landing page be your MVP. But of course, you will need to have a really strong idea if you don't have a product. 
to demonstrate. So as I said, making MVP is making a product which reproduces only one core business process. Yes, I know, you have a huge features list and thinking about all these features is so much fun. Yeah, I know, you are a dreamer, you are a visionaire. But having too many features in your backlog may ruin your project. Um, yeah, it can be a trap. Constant building can lead to despair. If you're only building, building and building month by month, uh, someday you will just burn. You need dopamine to move on, to keep your motivation at a high level. To get dopamine, you need to see the reaction of users which use your product. And it's much easier for you to ship uh, new features every week and publish it to audience so we can play with it and say you thanks or just uh, give some ideas or cheer you up. It will be much easier for you to start with a simpler tool and then develop it month by month. So if you are making an MVP, keep it minimal. You don't need to build a super complex thing with all these features which you have in your head. You're risking not only losing your motivation, there is much more risks. You're risking to build a lot of features which are not needed. Yes, you are not a prophet. You don't know exactly what your users need. The best way is to ask them. And if you will publish an initial version of your tool, which will allow your users to start working with it as soon as possible, we will start delivering you feedback as soon as possible. And having feedback of real users, you will be able to set priorities in a more productive way. Another disadvantage of making a huge tool is that you will get a huge code base to maintain. If your product hasn't started yet, you don't have revenue to support your product, you are interested in shipping your tool as soon as possible. And if you're making a complex tool in a hurry, you will eventually make a lot of mistakes and have a huge tech debt. Compare it to lightweight and fast MVP. What do we have here? If you will publish a small version of your tool, you will start selling it as soon as possible. And your first sales, oh my god, it's a so huge source of dopamine, I guarantee you. Also, you will spend way less resources on it. If you will find out that your idea is shit, it will be much easier to just quit your product because you invested not much resources on it. Fast release of the initial version and iterating will allow you to build an initial audience. Early adopters will use your tool and they will become your first followers. They will support your future launches and attract more users in the future. That's a huge benefit. If you still think that it's much better to create a final version of your product and only then release it, you are most possibly affected by these two things. Procrastination, all good procrastination. You just enjoy building things. And you spend a lot of time building and postponing this next step. Sales, marketing, promotion, fundraising, hiring, all that kind of stuff which scares you. It's so satisfying to think that this new feature will bring hundreds of new users just because you coded it so elegantly and well. But it is a lie. Of course you will need to spend time on marketing and promotion. So don't be afraid of it. It will be fine. It also could be fear. You might be feared that people will make laugh of you because your product is not perfect. Don't worry. If your product solves a real problem, if you picked a good idea, people will be happy to help you to improve your product, find bugs and send reports to you. It will make them involved in your product and increase their loyalty. It's a benefit actually. So consider making a small lightweight tool rather than a huge complex product. Now let's talk about the features map. It's most possibly that you are a super creative man or woman and you have a lot of features in your head. Let's take this mess and organize it. First take all your features from your head and put it on Notion. Start striking out the features which you think are not critical. Your goal is to keep this list as small as possible, to leave only the features which will help you reproduce your core business model. After you made this huge list and shorten it down, just go to bed. Yes, you need to sleep. On the day two, just wake up, open your Notion page and again strike out the features which can wait for another release. Then take the features which you have 
and put it on the list from the most important to the least important. Ask yourself, can I remove the features which are on the bottom of this list? The more features you will get away, the better. So you have a features map. Try to estimate each feature and put approximate time which you will need to make it. Let's assume that the total amount of time you need to build a tool with this amount of features is 500 hours. How much time are you ready to spend for your project? Let's imagine you have 10 hours per week. It means to create your MVP you will need 50 weeks. 50 weeks is almost a year, so that's a lot of time. And most possibly you will never launch your project because you will get tired of constantly making it. Try to make your MVP smaller or find another idea or try to find more time on building it. Imagine your list of features will take uh, one, two months to build it. That's totally fine. So after following this feature map, you will get a product which is far from perfect, but it works. It brings real value to your users. It doesn't break users' data and browsers. It doesn't violate laws. The features map is a must-have. It will kill a perfect scientist inside you. Even if there are some bugs in your product, it's not a big problem. People will report it, and you will fix it and tell them that your product improved. And people will be happy to see your product evolving. We will become more loyal and engaged. Here is a good piece of advice. Stop loving your product. Don't be emotionally connected with it. When planning your product, be as cold-blooded as possible. Think rationally. Don't worry, you will not become a cold-blooded soulless machine. You will still like your product. There will be a space to passion in your heart. But the more rational your actions will be, the higher chances for success you will have. Thanks for watching this video. I plan to make three or four videos on how to build MVP. This is only the beginning. Stay tuned and ciao!